Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bedtime Stories with me, Miss Debbie. I'm glad you're with me tonight. As you can see, I am in the library, and we are decorated for Chinese New Year. So do come by. We have some contests, some riddles to solve, chances for prizes, and uh, we're going to have a big celebration on Saturday, February 4th, and we're even having the dr Dancing Dragon. So come on by. Uh, any old time and check out our books and our fun things to do. So let's get started. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? How was your day? I hope you had a splendid day and ready to settle into some stories and um, into Lily White's party and uh, and for a good night's sleep. It's still winter. We still like to tuck in for a long winter's nap. So. <sighs> so what did you do today? Did you go to the park, to grandma's house? Were you with the babysitter? Maybe you went to school. Sometimes my mommy takes me over to my friend's house to play. Sometimes she's gone a little while and sometimes she's gone all day. But my mommy comes back, my mommy comes back, my mommy comes back to get me. My mommy comes back, she always comes back, she never would forget me. And our favorite song that we've been doing all along is Thumpkin. So it's a little way to exercise your fingers, um, to learn manners, and just to have fun. So, two hands, close them into fists, put those fists in your lap. Ready? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Tall Lady? Where is Tall Lady? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Stride away. Stride away. Where is Ring Man? Where is Ring Man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, dude? Very well, I thank you. Skip away. Skip away. All right, shake out your hands. Rub them a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Get the circulation going. Yeah, because you're going to be quiet while you're sleeping. No, no muscles are going to get to work. So, All right. That feels pretty good. All right. Maybe you're in your pajamas already, or maybe you still have to get ready. But this is the way to get ready. This is the way we take a bath, take a bath, take a bath. This is the way we take a bath before we go to bed. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face before we go to bed. This is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair before we go to bed. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we go to bed. This is the way we blow a kiss, blow a kiss, blow a kiss. This is the way we blow a kiss before we go to bed. So usually after a couple of stories and you get tucked in and maybe mommy or daddy kiss you on the forehead and then they go stand in the doorway where they can turn out the light and they blow a kiss from the doorway. And that means sweet dreams. So our first book this evening is My First Chinese New Year, or My First Lunar New Year. 
and it, this is by Karen Katz. And um, it's a very big holiday in a lot of countries, and it's a happy holiday. New, New Year's are always good celebrations. Hooray, hooray, soon it will be Chinese New Year. First, we decorate the walls with cut papers, all red and bright. Red means good luck and happiness in China. So here they are uh, decorating. And you can see behind me, we've decorated with kind of Chinese lanterns and more to come. My sister and I sweep away the bad luck from last year. Now we are ready to wor welcome in good luck for the new year. Dad and I buy plum and quince blossoms. The tiny buds remind us that new things can always grow. Grandpa and I make an altar to honor our ancestors. We add bowls filled with tangerines and oranges. They stand for money and good luck. So there on the wall are their ancestors. And, um, and there on the table are the oranges and the pink budding flowers. And looks like a bowl of candy. And um, it's, it's nice. I wonder if you have pictures of, of your ancestors displayed in your house. Mom buys us brand new clothes. I get to wear a red dress to the banquet. Then we have our hair cut. We will start the year all fresh and new. Now we need to start cooking for our New Year's Eve banquet. It takes a lot of work, so we start a few days early. Grandma and I make special soup to bring good health. Later, I will fold the dumplings with my cousin. I wonder what kind of soup that is. On New Year's Eve, grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles come over to share our feast. We all sit at a big round table. We have our special soup, chicken, whole fish, and for dessert, eight precious rice pudding. Delicious. Do you like rice pudding? Yum, I do. It's sweet like ice cream. On New Year's Day, Grandpa, Grandma, Mom, and Dad give us money in little red envelopes. This will bring us more good luck. At last, it is time for the Chinese New Year Parade, and this is happening in Chinatown. Or we will have a little parade if you come to the library on February 4th. We'll have the dragon. Here come the lion dancers. Look how beautiful they are. The lion's mouth is open and his ears are wiggling. He gobbles up green lettuce and red envelopes. Somebody is in the lion's costume. Isn't it fun? I hear drummers beating and cymbals clashing. I see floats and paper lanterns. And finally, at the end of the parade, the dragon. It's a sign of good luck and the beginning of spring. We hug and wish each other. Gong Hei Fat Choi, Happy New Year. Can you say that with me? Gong Hei Fat Choi. Happy New Year. I like celebrating Chinese New Year. I've been invited to a party too, and I see what that's all about. But I think I'm going to make a special treat. I think it's called pineapple cake. So, let's see. I found it in a book, and I found the book at the library. So. Come on by. All right. So 
let's uh, let's get a little exercise. You ready? We're gonna row our boat right into dreamland. Grab on those oars and pull pull your boat through the clouds in the sky. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Again, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And speaking of dreams, dreams are kind of like movies in our head when we go to sleep. I hope your dreams are all good. And that's why we say sweet dreams have sweet dreams before you go to bed. Nobody wants a nightmare. Anyway, this is Twinkle. He likes to watch over us at night and make sure we do get sweet dreams. So, starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. Any good wishes out there? Let's see. I always wish for a trip to Disney World. I love Disney World. I like Florida. What the heck? It's just always a party there. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Well, good night, Twinkle. We're about to go to bed, but we know you'll be up there watching over us while we sleep. Thank you for that. Oh, so here's another fun book, and you know I only read the books that I like. This is called Harold Loves His Woolly Hat by Vern Kowski. Perhaps you have a woolly hat or woolly mittens that have gotten lost? Hmm. Well, this is what happened to Harold's woolly hat. Here's a picture of Harold. He's just a little bear. He's out in the snow. He's looking at somebody's campfire, which is all kind of burned out. There's his hat down by the log. Harold loves to wear his woolly hat. He's built snowmen that all have something that looks like a hat. His hat. Do you think we'll get snow this year? He wears his woolly hat even in the summertime. He wears it when he goes to school. He wears it when he goes to sleep. Harold even wears his woolly hat when he takes his monthly bath. So, do you wear a hat when you go to sleep? If my room is cold, I wear a hat when I go to sleep. When Harold wears his woolly hat, he knows he is a special bear, different from all the other bears. So all the other bears, hmm, they're fishing there. Oh, they look the same, but Harold feels special because he wears that woolly hat. Then one day a crow swooped down and stole Harold's woolly hat. Now I look just like all the other bears, thinks Harold. How will anyone know that I am a very special bear? Crows aren't noted for stealing things. Crows are fascinating. Harold has to win back his woolly hat. He gathers up some wriggly worms and says to the crow, let's trade. The crow swoops down and takes the worms and flies them to its nest. Now please give me back my woolly hat, shouts Harold. 
but the crow only replies, caw, caw, caw. So Harold tries to make another trade. Here are some tasty blueberries for you. The crow swoops down and takes the berries and flies them to its nest. Now please give me back my woolly hat. Again, the crow just replies, caw, caw, caw. You can see the hat up there. What a greedy little crow, growls Harold. I'll never win back my woolly hat. Then he remembers his secret collection of shiny things. It's buried deep in a hole with a rock over the top. Here you go, you mean old crow. I've got the perfect trade for you. And he offers up his shiny things. It's very well known that crows love shiny things. The crow swoops down and takes the things and flies them to its nest. Now will you give me back my woolly hat, shouts Harold. Once more, the crow only replies, caw, caw, caw. There's just one thing left for Harold to do. He hides behind a rock and waits until the crow flies away. Then he sneaks over to the tree, climbs up, up, up to the tippy top, and sees three baby crows sitting on top of his hat. Harold tucks the crows in tight and then quietly climbs down from the nest. Even without my woolly hat, he whispers, I am still a very special bear. Now he's poking a stick into that beehive for some honey. I don't recommend you ever do that. Buy honey in a jar. Even without my woolly hat, he whispers, I am still a very special bear. And he's got honey on the stick, and the bees are following him. He said, I am a helpful bear named Harold. He's holding out the stick with the honey, and the crow is swooping down, and the three crows in the nest are looking over the nest. Yum, yum, dessert. And now they're big enough to fly away on their own, and there's Harold sitting on a tree branch with his new friend, Crow. The end. Harold Loves His Woolly Hat by Vern Kowski. Come on in the library and ask us to borrow this book. I'll save it for you. So, as we're winding down now, it's getting darker because... Day is done, gone the sun, from the land, from the hills, from the sky. All is well, safely rest, sleep is nigh. Sleep is near. Mr. Sandman is putting sand in your eyes and that makes your eyes close and getting ready for sleeping. Whew. I have, you know what I love about bedtime stories is I get to read stories to you up close, a lot of them, and take my time, and you can enjoy them as well. First, The Egg by Laura Vaccaro Seeger. First, The Egg. Then... 
the chicken. A chick hatches out of an egg and grows up to be a chicken pretty quickly. First, the tadpole. You can find tadpoles in the spring in these little pools that are called vernal pools. And tadpoles grow into frogs. So remember the little tadpole? He was just, looks like a worm. Now he's growing, he's growing um, arms and he'll grow legs and he'll turn, he miraculously turns into a frog. First the seed. What comes from a seed? A flower or a vegetable or a tree. First the seed, then the flower. First the caterpillar. You know what a caterpillar turns into. A butterfly. First the caterpillar wraps itself around in a, in a chrysalis. And then it stays in there until it just turns magically into a butterfly. First, the word. Do you have some favorite words? How about play, lunch, sleep, mommy? Can you put those words into a story? Mommy? I would like to play after lunch and then sleep a little bit in my nap. See, there's a story. First the paint and then the picture. First the chicken and then the egg. Because chickens lay eggs. That's what they do. The end. Okay, so, wow, I have another book by um, Laura Vaccaro Seeger, Lemons Are Not Red. This is one of my favorite books in the whole world. It's such a simple but beautiful book. Lemons are not red. What color are lemons? Lemons are yellow. Apples are red. Carrots are not purple. Carrots are orange. Eggplants are purple. Flamingos are not gray. Flamingos are pink. Elephants are gray. Reindeer are not white. Reindeer are brown. Snowmen are white. Grass is not blue. Grass is green. The sky is blue. The moon is not black. The moon is silver or white or somebody said yellow. The night is black. When you look out your window right now, do you see the black night? That means it's time to go to sleep. Good night. But us, we're still having our bedtime fun, right? So it is time for Lily White's party, which means it's bedtime because your sheets are lily white. And, uh, and then you're going to snuggle into your sheets. But... Um, People have different colored sheets right now, but we still call it Lily White's party, right? Go hippity hop to bed. I'd rather stay up instead. When mother says must, there's nothing but just. Go hippity hop to bed. Please, one more story. Okay, you knew that was coming, right? Big Wolf and Little Wolf by Sharon Phillips Denslow. Illustrated by Kathy Felstead. This is an old book and it's hard to find. And it's really a shame. And that's why I say to my friends, please take care of your books, even your library books, because once they break or get damaged and they have to go in the garbage, there's no more book. 
And that's what's happening to Big Wolf and Little Wolf. You are going to love this book. I love it. Late one night, just before the moon disappeared, Big Wolf sat Little Wolf on his knee. Sing me a good night song, Daddy, Little Wolf said. So Big Wolf sang. Oh, a little wolf sat on a big wolf's knee, said the little wolf, sing a song for me. The big wolf stretched his throat out long and sang little wolf this yowly song. I'm a wolf, I'm a wolf, I'm a big gray wolf. I sleep all day, I sing all night. I snap my teeth in an overbite. Snap. I'm a wolf, I'm a wolf, I'm a big gray wolf. I like to chew, I like to eat. I use my nose to smell my feet. Little Wolf giggled and said, Sing more, Daddy. So Big Wolf did. I'm a wolf, I'm a wolf, I'm a big gray wolf. I dig up holes, I scratch up dirt. I howl at the moon in my old night shirt. That's another word for PJs. I'm a wolf, I'm a wolf, I'm a big gray wolf. I chase wild ducks, I jump on bugs. I wrestle my son and give him hugs. Little Wolf gave Big Wolf a hug too. Then he said, here's a song for you, Daddy. I'm a wolf, I'm a wolf, I'm a little gray wolf. I like to bounce, I like to play. I chase my tail round and round all day. Suddenly, there was a rustling and a growling in the bushes behind them. I hear something, Daddy, said Little Wolf. So do I, said Big Wolf. And then there was a scritching and scratching in the bushes behind them. Do you see something in the bushes? I hear scritching and scratching, said Little Wolf. So do I, said Big Wolf. Something was in the bushes. Who's there, Big Wolf growled. Little Wolf saw two tall ears rise above the bushes. He saw two big eyes and a big shiny nose. And then he heard, I'm a wolf, I'm a wolf, I'm a big mama wolf. I scare silly wolves, I make them run. I hide in the woods just having fun. Big Wolf and Little Wolf yowled and ran through the bushes chasing Mama Wolf until they all fell down in a happy tumble right in front of their den. You almost scared me, Mama, said Little Wolf. Mama Wolf kissed his nose. It's time for bed, Little Wolf, she said. But first... Sing me a good night song, said Little Wolf. So Mama Wolf and Big Wolf did. We are wolves, we are wolves, we are fine gray wolves. Our sleep is deep, our snores are long, and in our dreams there is one more song. Ow! Good night. The end. If you ever went to, there's a wolf sanctuary in New Jersey, in Columbia, New Jersey, and um, the wolves are beautiful, and they, they howl from their throats. No, coyotes make a big noise. Coyotes go, yip, 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 howl, but wolves go from their throat. They just lift their throat, and they go, oh, and it's a beautiful thing to listen to and watch. So let's close out our, 
our story time and you can get ready to snuggle in and have your sweet dreams. Skid em a rink a dink a dink, skid em a rink a do. I love you. Skid em a rink a dink a dink, skid em a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skid em a rink a dink a dink, skid em a rink a do. I love you. Cha cha cha. Well, thank you for joining me. I really enjoyed being with you. And come and see me at the library and check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Mwah. Sweet dreams.